folks, Redneck Vapor here. Got another juice review for you today. This is gonna be part two of the goose juice from uh, WNC Vapor. Um, I did a part one, if you haven't checked that out, I'll leave a link down yonder where you can check that one out as well. I talked a little bit more about it in that video, so I'm not gonna cover everything I did in that one and this one. Anyway, we're talking about the drip edition and part two today. I've got three flavors here that are all 10% PG, 90% VG, which in my opinion is better suited for dripping. Okay, all of them are in six milligram strength. Can you see that? Uh, 10 PG, 90 VG, six milligram. All right, first flavor, I'm just gonna go ahead and hop right to it. First flavor is uh, Carmella. Described on their website is a caramel and vanilla. Got it loaded up in my orange tugboat on a tugboat mod, anarchist drip tip. 0.2 ohm build with or, uh, Japanese cotton, Sony VTC4. When you build this low, folks, make sure you're using a safe battery. I got a 30 amp Sony VTC4 in here. Hmm. Of course, you can see vapor production is really good. That's all going to consider or be determined by the build that you have in your dripping atomizer. So I'm getting really good clouds with the build that I have. Throat hit, <clears throat> pretty good. I like the throat hit on this. Flavor. I'm getting a very good caramel and vanilla. On the inhale, I'm getting straight up caramel, real good sweet caramel. And then in the exhale, I'm getting a really sweet, nice vanilla cream. Mm -hmm. So that's the caramella or caramella, however you folks want to say it. I really like this one. This one gets a thumbs up for me. You can see I've done went about halfway through the bottle. All right, I'm gonna put this one down. I've got separate mods, drippers for each juice. Next up, I got Hocus Pocus. Hocus Pocus. As you can see, I didn't like that one one bit. <laughs> anyway, as described on their website, it is a magical flavor infused with butterscotch. All right, I've got it loaded up in my uh, tugboat version 2 with a steam stack topper on it big old thing like that on a hex on version 2 0.4 on build japanese cotton let's go As you can see, vapor production is really good. This right here is some straight up dripping cloud juice, folks. No doubt about it. Throat hit's really good. Nice, nice throat hit, but smooth. I'm not getting any kind of like harshness or nothing like that. Now the flavor on this one. This one right here, folks, is my favorite of the lot, or the favorite of the three. If you couldn't tell by the look at the bottle, you know, level there, I'm almost out of this stuff. I had to hurry up and do this review before I ran out of it. But, even though I'm a little late with it, I kind of set these juices off to the side, forgot about them. Holidays are coming up. Just been really busy, but anywho, back on to the review. The flavor on this one, I'm getting really good butterscotch. Almost like a mix between the candy and the butterscotch syrup they put on like a butterscotch sundae. Getting something like that. 
I don't know what the magical flavor is, but it tastes like marshmallow to me. This tastes like a butterscotch marshmallow, and it is really good. This one's getting two thumbs up for me, two big thumbs up. Mm-hmm. That's a really good one right there. All right, <clears throat> moving on to the next one. Next one is called Blackberry Honey. Blackberry Honey. Look the level of that. As you can see, I've done a good, good amount of vaping on all these so I can get a good taste of them. Let me cleanse my palate off real quick. Anywho, Blackberry Honey is described on their website is Blackberry and Honey. So I've got it loaded up in my TOBH or Tobe clone on my Cloud Pour 30 watt box clone thingy. Got it set. It's a 0.6 ohm. I got it set at 24 or 27 and a half watts. 27 and a half watts giving me 4.2 volts. Mm -mm. This one's really good too, folks. Spoiler alert, but this one's really good too. <clears throat> On the inhale, I'm getting a really sweet blackberry. I mean, just not overly power sweet, but nice, sweet, almost, I mean, it tastes fresh. It tastes like a fresh, or fresh, not strawberry, but fresh blackberry. And then on into the middle, and the exhale, I get an added sweetness that I believe is the honey part of it. It's a real sticky-like taste, but like I said, it's not very overpowering. I mean, it's it's a very flavorful vape, no doubt, and I like that. Again, vapor production's awesome. Throat hit is awesome. No harshness in any of these three juices. As you can see, I went down as low as 0.2 on one of them, 0.4 on the other, 0.6 on this one. So all three liquids, three different ohms, all get a thumbs up from me. The Hocus Pocus gets two thumbs up because I'm just a butterscotch fanatic. Love butterscotch. But anywho, I'll leave a link down yonder where y'all can find these juices. They're at a WNCVapor.com. Um, you can pick your PGVG level on it. So if you want to get dripping style, if you want to get a tank style, you've got that option. Um, they've got nicotine strength 0, 3, 6, 12, 18, 24, and 32 if you want to get it. So uh, I guess that's about it. I'm going to wrap this one up. I'm going to take another... I need to drip something in there. I think last ass end of that last one was a little dry. So I'm going to drip some of this Hocus Pocus down in my tugboat V2. We're going to call this a review. Or my thoughts on it anyway. I don't know if you want to call it a review or not. Like always, folks, this is Redneck Vapor. Y'all keep on vaping. I'll see you next time.